Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Strangest, an exploration of all things dark, magical, and mysterious. I would imagine if you have come across this film that you would have a budding interest in perhaps one, or better yet, all three. If so, then what good fortune you've come across. Because in this chapter, I will be discussing a most powerful and ancient force, known to walk between worlds and with gifts that spanned across the universe. Allow me to introduce you to the Keeper of Keys, Guardian of the Crossroads, and Queen of Witches, the Goddess Hecate. Hecate is known to many people by many names. Lightbearer, Mistress of Magic, World Soul, Triple Goddess, Maiden, Mother, and Crone. But in order to even comprehend the mystery and meaning of her countless epithets, we first must understand her origins. Hecate is an ancient Greek goddess who was born in the generation between the Titans and the Olympians. Her father was Perses, the Titan of Destruction, and her mother was Asteria, the Titaness of Falling Stars and Divination. As the goddess of witchcraft, sorcery, and necromancy, it is the opinion of some that her gifts transcended those of most, if not all, of her divine counterparts. She is a liminal goddess, meaning that she possesses the ability to walk between worlds and realities freely and is able to harness certain powers and energy sources that would be, at the very least, extremely difficult for others to even consider. It is because of this gift that she is widely known as the Keeper of Keys, for she has access and can grant access to any door that one may wish to walk through. This is further exemplified through her connection to the crossroads. If you ever find yourself faced with either a literal or metaphoric fork in the road, calling upon Hecate would provide invaluable insight, for she is able to see the outcomes of all directions. Hecate is also heavily associated with the phases of the moon, the underworld, black dogs, serpents, and torches all of which become solid symbols of the goddess. To the ancient Greeks, she was much more than simply a deity you called upon when you wanted to cast a spell. She was seen as a protector of the home, children, and especially outcasts. She has been known as a wise teacher and guide, using her powers to bring truth and clarity, whose counsel was highly regarded and eagerly sought. Versions of history would also have you believe that her being referred to as a dark goddess would imply that she was in some way evil or a deity that would think nothing of wreaking havoc upon you and your family. It is true that she is associated with energies and entities that some may consider frightening, such as the dead, snakes, and hobgoblins, among other things. But the term dark is used to describe the fact that she is all-encompassing she represents the entire spectrum of existence. She is both birth and death, joy and despair, light and darkness. And it is because of this duality that her wisdom and power knows no bounds. As we move into the 21st century, and as we experience a resurgence in the interest of witchcraft and the occult, we find versions of Hecate that more closely resemble that of her ancient epithets. She has become an icon of self-empowerment and the embodiment of what it means to live magically, being fully present in both your light and your darkness. Hecate's reach has also extended into pop culture at large, and her name is no longer confined to circles of spirituality. She has made appearances in the Percy Jackson series, the Hercules animated series, and has been referenced in television shows such as Charmed, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, 
American Horror Story Coven, and The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Her symbolism has also appeared in Dua Lipa's music video for her song, Levitating. So it is very apparent that the goddess is able to captivate not just those who choose to be a part of her circle, but also those who watch her from afar. The Queen of the Witches has remained firm in the human consciousness for millennia, and she has assumed a variety of roles and purposes. Whether it be as a wise crone, a villainous goddess, or a fierce protector of the strange and misunderstood, her mythology and mysteries have continued to compel and inspire both witches and non-magic folk alike. Perhaps it is due to the fact that she speaks to the magic in all of us, urging it to reveal itself from beneath the shadows of our psyches. Or maybe it is because she represents the allure, transformation, and power that comes from embracing the darker parts of our souls. Regardless of the reasons as to why she has endured so long, it is my fervent belief that as long as there are those who feel called to walk through the doors that she alone is able to open, then this is exactly where she will stay. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes this chapter of Strangest. I hope this film was successful in providing you with either information, illumination, or entertainment. Thank you very much for spending this time with me, and I will see you the next time the lights go out.